Good morning. How many people are sons of light? We're looking today at 1 Thessalonians 5, verses 4 and 5. Here's what the Bible says. But you, brethren, are not in darkness, so that this day should overtake you as a thief. You are all sons of light and sons of the day. We are not of the night or nor of darkness. So in other words, we're in the open. We don't hide our beliefs. We're doing things in the open. We're not sacrificing chickens out behind the shed. We, we, are, we are just open. We're transparent. We're authentic. We don't have anything to hide. We're seeking to live right lives in the midst of a world that isn't all doing that. All real Christians are sons of light. We're not moved by government. We're not moved by overbearing corporations. We are living our lives and seeking to be godly people day by day. Governments do their thing and we do ours and we seek to live in peace. Governments impose and, and even persecute. We seek to quietly follow Jesus and bring good into the world. We want to echo the morality of Jesus as shown in the scriptures. So God will help us do that. We're not people who get caught up in secular power politics. Uh, sure, we're aware, we notice things going on. When, 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 when troops roll into the capital, we see that. But we're not really too worried about that. We are being Christians. We're seeking to be salt and light. And this one says that we are light. So let's carry on being light. And, and sure, we want to be awake and see what's going on around us. But we shouldn't be moved by it because we are children of the King, of King Jesus. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, Lord, you are good to us. You have invited us to be part of your kingdom. Bless, we pray, as we live our lives day by day, help us to serve you. You are our king. We are your servants. Show us how to be your agents in a world that is going certainly very much the wrong way. Give us grace and help and strength and courage, Lord. Thank you for hearing our prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So well, let's go out and be light in the world today, light that is in a world of darkness. God's wanting you and I to be that light. As Christians, our identity is clear. We do not become entangled with this world. God be with you today as you go out into this world as a Christian first and everything else a distant third.